Hey guys, hey, I am coming to you with a Project Life update, I guess is what you can call it. Um, yes, you're seeing this humongous album out. Um, months ago, I decided that I really wanted a little bit more space in my Project Life. I felt like the 6x12 was just a little too little. I think even though for this week it would be perfect but it we're not gonna go there anyways um so i had ordered a 9 by 12 when they were on sale it's been sitting in here forever and when i got to 2023 i really just did not know all right so i figured let's do the front facing for this since um i've gotten a lot of like when I go on to like my Instagram stories and all that kind of stuff, um, people are always like, oh my gosh, I finally seen your face and all that kind of stuff. So anyways, um, I figured since I'm introducing this kind of thing, let's go forward facing. So hi, I am Kay with Create with Kay. I also have another channel that is called Plan with Kay and that's all about planners and bullet journaling and mainly bullet journaling now, not so much planners, but bullet journaling um, and budgeting. I do a ton of budgeting videos over there also, which are a huge hit over there. So if you are interested in that kind of stuff, you can definitely head on over there. Also, um, I'll leave the description in the, uh, or the link in the description below. There we go. Anyways, so yes, let's talk about this. So I was originally in a six by 12, which is over here in this mess. So I'm not gonna pick it up real quick. Um, I am ending my 2021. Um, I'm trying to get through that. I have two more spreads that are gonna get done. That puts me into the end of October. Um, and then I still don't know if I'm going to do December. So um, I'm going back and forth with that in my head. Um, but I have a lot to do in 2022. Uh, but I also don't want to get behind in 2023. So today we are going to do my cover page. Uh, my cover page. And I don't know if this is a thing, but I take, you know, a million gazillion pictures in December, of course. And then I always go into like the first two weeks of January where like I have zero pictures and legit guys I have like zero pictures until like the 15th of January um, and we're currently sitting at the 20th so I gotta kind of figure out how I am gonna document that maybe I'll just group all those first 15 days into one spread um, I don't know I, I I don't know but we are gonna get started with that uh, so last year I was really wanting more larger pictures in my project life which is maybe why I went to a 9 by 12 also I don't know well we're, we're just gonna let this we're gonna let this go uh and see how far it gets if I don't feel it um like I was talking to Crystal Inunate um in one of our lives and you know she was like just go with it and you you know I was like I could always change it later right I could always change it later so I'm going to do it. I'm going to fill this big bad boy up with memories. And then if I don't like it, um, I'll either go back down to the six by 12 or I might just go to all six by eight albums. Um, I really love the six by eight size. I feel comfortable in it. Um, yeah, I think that, so let's get started. Uh, this should be a real quick video. And I am going to show you how I am going to start all of the months because I am going to start doing like dividers in the months in my family albums. And if you have not watched the video already, I have done both of my boys albums for their dividers for 2023 and Jan no 2023 dividers, not January. No, one of them has January dividers. The other one does not. That's right. So I will do, be doing that. Um, I'll put that little link in the eye up here. You can go watch that. <coughs> so yeah, let's get started. All right, guys. So let's get started on this. Uh, I did go through and use Allie Edwards' Story by the Month January kit. Um, and uh, for 2023. And I believe the 2017 story by the striped diagonal card um I do believe is from the 2017 um digital kit 
those are the two I have digitally. Unfortunately, I missed out on 2022's January and February, so um, I just wasn't subscribed at that time. But anyways, um, those are the, that is the kits that I used. I uh, did recolor um, both cards so that they matched my photos a little bit more. Um, I just used the eyedropper and picked some colors from our clothes to change the numbers on the uh, 2023 card and then change the lines to navy instead of I think a bright yellow on the diagonal card. Here I am just using one of the chipboards from the 2023 kit and making it into a chipboard. Most of the time when I would like dimension I use the um, thicker chip. It's not quite a chipboard but it is a very thin piece of chipboard um, that comes in on the front and the back of my matte photo paper in um, the packaging. And so it allows me to have dimension and the thickness of, for my digital products. So that's what you see me doing there. Um, most of us, I know, um, peel off the backings of some of the chipboard anyways. And so this is like perfect. Uh, the next thing you see me do, it is white core. Um, so if I'm using something black like you just seen, I will color the edge of it with a black marker. Um, I did not care too much about the chipboard for this piece. Um, this was really just an embellishment type. So I did not use the chipboard for this one. So some I don't, some I won't. Um, it all just depends. So these are pictures from a photo shoot that we actually did in October, but you know, close enough for me. And honestly, this is one of the first albums that I have put a cover page together for. It has always just been one mm, hiccup, I feel like, in Project Life that I never tackle. Like, I think way too much into it. Uh, so this year, I knew I wanted to use these pictures, as obviously they are pretty updated ones. Um, and yeah, I just didn't think about it, honestly. <laughs> like, I just, I chose... The pictures that I liked of each person, um, unfortunately me and my husband didn't get individual pictures, we got them together, um, and then one of each child, one of them together, and, you know, finish it up that way. All right, so that is all done, and in the album, that feels good. Let's move on. This will be our, this is our family story album. Um, there's several years in this as I am just brand new starting in or back starting into the scrapbook world. So about a year ish. Uh, so I've been working through a lot of years. <clears throat> 2018 is actually almost done and will be moved out of this album. Um, and eventually as I get more album or stories done, um, obviously each year will have its own album if honestly there's enough room. But I am a chronological uh, scrapbooker. Um, so I do like to try and put the stories pretty chronologically. So with this, I did say that I wanted to have dividers um, for my story album and these three by eight cards in the new um, stories by the month kits are the perfect way to do that so but I did change it a little bit I changed it to a half circle I do believe that I will keep it probably this way for most of the year um, so I just used a half circle um, and then um, in Photoshop, I used like the clone tool and just kind of uh, repeated the pattern. Um, I have heard in my comments below, I am listening, um, that a lot of people would like more behind the scenes of the Photoshop um, process, as I know that Photoshop is definitely a monster of a program. And as I'm a photographer, I have been using Photoshop for about... 10 years now. So not that I'm super proficient in it, but I do know my way around it quite well. But I do learn new things almost every day, um, especially on the scrapbooking side of it. So or on the more uh, 
graphic design part of it. So with the photography part of it, I'm pretty proficient and can do a lot of things. <clears throat> But on the graphic design, which would be this part of it, um, I am still learning a ton of things. <coughs> All right, so here I am. I did, I'm trying to jazz this up a little bit. I was really going between a lot of things. Um, sometimes when I do just get the digital, um, I do miss getting the physical stamp of each month. It is just a tug and pull, but honestly, at this point, I haven't used, I did do a full year of the physical kit, um, about a year and a half ago. And I just don't use those monthly stamps as much as I would like. So I can't justify going and getting all of the, the, the physical stamps, but that is one thing I do wish that she would, um, kind of adapt is just putting the stamps is a separate piece so that the digital um, scrapbookers could at least still get the stamps because I am such a big stamper. So here is another part. I did um, already have one story for 2023. Um, and so I needed one like filler page and I went to back to the begin kit and recolored this one also of course and put a sta start here you see I was being silly with so this album only has two rings whereas mine have three and it's just it trips me up sometimes but all right guys so that is the beginning of my project life and more story kits thank you guys so much for being here definitely hit that subscribe button and I will see you next time